All right, guys, welcome to Fridays. Everybody having a good Friday? Let's just see thumbs up. Good Fridays, good Fridays. Yeah. Good Friday, it's baby. Gonna be 60 degrees. It's going to be 60 degrees here, so that's a very good Friday for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so today we're going to get into this shape language, right? And I know I, we said like character grouping, but I think what we're going to do in the character grouping is we're going to concentrate a little bit more on one type of character right and then next week we'll get into more of like creating our group of characters because we're going to kind of create our own little posse right so i think today we're going to go in and kind of concentrate on one type of character but we'll explain how that goes so uh shape language right do you guys know that shapes mean things right shapes have meaning circles have meaning squares have meaning triangles have meaning right uh and that can kind of help as you develop characters and the personalities in those characters and I thought, even though I'm wearing a Daffy Duck baseball jersey today, um, I think we are going to concentrate when we get into creating a character and understanding those shape languages, we're going to use a Chuck Jones original in Wile E. Coyote. And he's going to give us a little insight onto shape language and how we create characters. So what I wanted to start first off was getting into a little exercise. You guys, there is no prompt sheet today, right? This is just straight up paper, pencil, and color pencil. So. Um, what I wanted to show you to start off was who likes to sketch just stuff, people, animals, all that kind of stuff, right? How important do you think it is to continue to sketch stuff that you see with your eyes in real life? Super important, right? And I want to prove it to you. So Chuck Jones is a legend, right? He has four Oscars that he won for the shorts. He was a legendary artist. You've seen some pieces that I've shown you. I've got two pieces here to show you today. Um, that are Chuck Jones original sketches and this one to me is one of my favorites I still have it taped to the cardboard in the plastic that Craig gave me so <laughs> Craig don't cringe um, because I have it by my desk so that I can look at it instead of behind of a frame which I'm going to eventually need to do but Chuck loved to sketch and what I have here is a, a page from one of Chuck's sketchbooks now you can kind of see that, right? Oh, I know the plastic man. has a little bit of a reflection, right? So I if you can see, <laughs> oh, I love this one. I love this one, right? So this is, Chuck would sketch at the beach. Uh, he would sketch wherever, right? And he would sketch people and notice all the shapes, right? And how he would do that. And these are just really quick sketches, probably only spent a few minutes on each of these. And what's super awesome to me, and I didn't know this until Craig showed me, is if you look right up here, this is a little Craig, <laughs> right? So wow. this is a Chuck Jones sketchbook page and he would sketch his family proof. There's his grandson, little Craig. <laughs> oh, little Craig, right? How awesome is that? So there's pencil. So what I want to impart on you for that is always be drawing, sketch all kinds of stuff. The better you can understand real life and real anatomy and that kind of and and that kind of thing the better you'll get at when you want to do your cartoons and expressions and stuff like that and chuck was always big on always keep drawing it doesn't matter if it's coming out bad or not just keep drawing so One of the things that, when some, i was growing up ahead. uh everywhere that i went with with uh chuck he always had a sketchbook he always had a, like a satchel with pencils and, and a couple different sketchbooks. He always had something with him. So no matter where he was, if he stopped, he could sit there and then just start to sketch. He'd pull something out and he'd just start to sketch. Sometimes it was really just totally sketchy. Other times he was just having a good time. So not a bad habit to always have something with you because if you're like, he'd take notes that way. Instead of putting words down, He'd take visual notes, whatever he was. So it was, uh, it's, it's a nice little habit to do. Yeah, absolutely. And a little bit later, as I'm going to spotlight Craig on something, I'm going to run and get my sketchbook and, and my little pencil case just so you guys can see some tools to use. So let's get started with shape language. All right, uh, shapes. We're going to concentrate on three shapes right now, right? Um, and I'm going to start with the super basic circle, right? Super basic circle. Circles, what do circles mean, right? Circles are friendlier, right? It's more of a trusting figure. It's a little cuter, right? It's, it's kind of more of a the feel good type thing. So when you see characters that have rounder shapes, 
right? That's a friendlier thing that they have that they're doing. And that's why they start off with like circles, maybe a little bit some in some ovals and stuff, rounder shapes, right? And then uh, squares and rectangles, right? Squares and rectangles. So squares and rectangles, what, is that? what kind of connotations does that have? That's more um, secure, like dependable figures, right? You see kind of superheroes and superheroes have a lot more that they do with squares and rectangles, right? Because it's more dependable. You, don't, um, you can draw if you want. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a couple of shapes and then we're going to pick a few and I'm going to have you do quick characters off those. All right, last, last is triangle right triangle shape so triangular shapes are a little bit more sinister right uh think of any villain that you might know of in a famous cartoon or something or a movie uh triangular shapes kind of have that more villainous devious kind of look to it so here's what i want you to do we have these three shapes um on your sheet of paper so today we're gonna this we're gonna start with this and then we're gonna get into breaking down wily e. coyote right because we always want to use our imagination too we understand fundamentals and then we apply our imagination to it. And then the final piece that we're gonna do today is gonna be drawing our own character, right? And we're gonna pick one. We'll do character groupings next week. So here we go. Circle, I want you to take a circle and create on your piece of paper a, a character out of circles and round shapes, just real quick. This is like gesture drawing, right? So uh, I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna make it off this real quick real quick gesture drawing you don't have to spend a ton of time on it right Just real quick real quick gesturing something fun real loose i'm gonna go i'm gonna go baby Right, real, real quick. One little hair, right? That's cute enough. Real quick, gesture it out. Take about a one more minute just to do something cute. You can do a head, you can do a full body if you want. The whole idea of gesturing is to get simple shapes down and kind of how that pans out. We're gonna show you how that works too with Wiley Cody in a little bit. All right, so there's my, there's my baby. Oh, what's that? What would be another good one? I haven't drawn this in a, in a little bit, but. I don't know how many of you like the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda's kind of awesome. You get some comments of definitely they love it. Yes, and they love Baby Yoda. Right? We love the Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is one of my favorites. Let's get that big old collar that they have. In the... All right, there's my super fast Baby Yoda. Right, rounder shapes, oval, stuff like that, fun stuff. Okay, all right, let's get into square. So uh, think of squares and rectangles as dependable figures, right? Something, so it could be like a Batman, Superman, it could be a whatever, it could be a bouncer, right? Something like that, um, something kind of stocky. So if you were to take, if you were to take your, I'm gonna start over here and your squares, your rectangles, do something real quick. I'm gonna go, Right, super quick. Different style. Let's go like mustache and a beard. All right, real quick. All right, kind of like a sheriff. Let's see. He's got his. There you go. He's got his badge. All right. And now, 
give that another minute. Think of that, think of that dependable character that you have. Favorite superheroes, my favorite superhero of all time, no matter who it is, is Batman. All time favorite. The only main superhero without any superpowers has to use his brain, physical muscle, right, to get the job done. And then on the other side, on Marvel, my favorite character is Thor because hammers are cool and I would like to fly. All right. So we'll finish up that square. Quick gesture. Remember, just quick sketches, right? Super quick sketches. All right, let's get into uh, let's get into triangles the villainous kind of like devious mischievous right so if you think of like a loki from uh thor right he's he's, he's a lot of triangles being of jafar from aladdin like the animated version don't get me started on the live action version even if you like it that's okay right so jafar from the animated version and that angular or think of scar even from the lion king right uh think of darth vader in that helmet that's all kinds of triangles right so take your triangle and do something. It can be an elongated triangle, however you want to do it, and do something, maybe it's a sinister style character. I'm going to go, Hey Ben, you think you can uh, maybe move the thing a little closer and uh, get you out of the thing? You're, it's a little blurry again. Yep. Awesome. One second. How's that? I think it's going to focus better. Yep. When you, when it, it'll start to focus a little better as you're drawing. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that a lot better now. All right, so we got our villainous character, right? However you want to. However you want to draw that. Quick sketches, just quick sketches. Maybe I'll do a, some. Just to show where his shoulders go. All right, that's my villainous character. All right, so we've got basic shapes down, right? Basic shapes kind of creates something, circles, squares, triangles. I love Wile E. Coyote. He is one of, one of my favorite characters, right? And a Chuck Jones original character. And remember when we talked about, you can do a cone head for a triangle, sure. Uh, remember when we talked about using our imaginations and how we create characters really like allowing your brain to think about things. Um, Craig, do you by chance have the Mark Twain roughing it available? Um, hang on just a second. I do. All right. And I had it. Uh, let me make sure where I put it. Um, hold on. I'll be right back. All right. We'll be right back. So remember when Chuck Jones was seven years old, right? So he was seven years old and he did, uh, he read a book and I'm going to see if I can bring up the link also. He read a book on Mark Twain because he read books all the time and it was roughing it. And in roughing it around page 80 is the description of the coyote, right? And he read this at seven years old. And then when he was 37 years old and the producers wanted a new character, do it, they had to come up with a new character, a new cartoon. He remembered when he was seven that the about the what mark twain wrote and roughing it and he and his writer mike maltese came up with wiley coyote and the roadrunner which is pretty darn cool all right are you ready you can i'm i'm ready all right so craig now here's what i want you to do as craig reads this i want you to just kind of let your imagination as you i like to close my eyes you don't have to close your eyes if you don't want to and just at, remember that as Craig's reading this, I want you to imagine this character, right, in your mind. All right, Craig, go ahead. All right. So to, I'm going to spotlight you. Can I spotlight you? Uh, sure. I'm uh, reading as I go, so I'll do my best to uh, be – oh, I can do it right here. All right. Um, if my eyes work. Hello, everybody. Hey. 
I got Daphne in the background, but I'm going to talk about uh, Coyote here. So uh, let's see. So the the so yes, Chuck. As I was talking about yesterday, that uh, that Chuck read everything, and uh, I mean literally, he read every type of book. He loved to read. He Mark Twain was his hero, so he read probably more Mark Twain. He he read Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn every single year of his life. Once he started reading uh, Twain. But uh, when he was seven, he came across Roughing It. And it's a story about uh, Mark Twain uh, going across the country with his brother in a stagecoach. And he came across this creature that he'd never seen before. And, and he wrote about it in Roughing It. And, uh, and so it said, uh, um, along about an hour after breakfast, we saw the first prairie dog villages, the first antelope and the first wolf. If I remember rightly, this latter was the regular coyote, pronounced coyote, of the farthest desert. And if it was, he was not a pretty creature or respectable either, for I got well acquainted with his race afterward and can speak with confidence. The coyote is a long, slim, sick, and sorry-looking skeleton with a gray wolf skin stretched over it a tolerably bushy tail that forever sags down with a despairing expression of forsakenness and misery, a furtive and evil eye, and a long, sharp face with slightly lifted lip and exposed teeth. He has a general slinking expression all over. The coyote is a living, breathing allegory of want. He is always hungry, he is always poor, out of luck and friendless. The meanest creatures despise him and even the fleas would desert him for a velocipede. He is so spiritless and cowardly that even while his exposed teeth are pretending a threat, the rest of his face is apologizing for it. And he is so homely, so scrawny and ribby and coarse haired and pitiful. So that, it goes on for a little bit longer, but uh, it is, uh, if you think about it, and the idea of Chuck reading this at seven, and then literally it was 30 years later in 19, it was actually about 1947 that he and Mike Maltese, who was one of his great writers through most of his uh, career, they were sitting around and everybody was doing chases. Tom and Jerry was doing chases, and um, uh, the Keystone Cops were doing chases. It was just, they figured, what, what could we do where they're chasing? And so they ended up, uh, you know, thinking about different characters. Obviously, Kathy and those guys, you know, oh. sometimes that Elmer Fudd was chasing, but they wanted characters that weren't necessarily the dialogue characters. Something that just it was funny to chase. And so, Craig, your your audio is going out, buddy. Uh, and visit friends out in Arizona. He loved it down in Arizona, and uh, and there were roadrunners all over Arizona that he used to see. And so he told Mike, you know, I love the way that the roadrunners chase each other around the desert because they're very territorial characters, and they. Um, they, uh, they chase each other off their land. And so they have huge plots of land, like an acre they protect. But, you know, a roadrunner chasing a roadrunner didn't really seem like it would be that fun. So he said he dipped back into his memory of that description from Mark Twain when he was a child, uh, that he read when he was a child, and started to sketch original sketches. And uh, hopefully by the end of this, I can figure out how to share those uh, original sketches that he did in 1947, 1948. And he and Mike Maltese came up with this concept of a coyote, a despicable, homely coyote chasing a roadrunner and uh, figured out what their characters were all about. So this was 1949, the first roadrunner coyote was released and, uh, and they continued to evolve that. So that's, that's how Wile E. Coyote first uh, came into existence. So 
kind of cool, right? Diving into your memory and pulling out something that becomes an iconic character that everybody can see. So to give you an idea, right? So this is Chuck Redux, which is an awesome book. Tim, Tim has this book. Uh, and I love this book. It's his second autobiography. And in it, you can see, right, sketches from Chuck and Wiley Coyote, right, which is kind of cool. So what I thought we would do is I'm going to show you one more. And this is, this is an original sketch from Chuck. And there's the why. There, this is for the title card, um, I believe, for Chariots of Fur. It is. Yeah, and it's part of it the is. sketching, yep. Right, so this is an original Chuck drawing that he did to sketch out the title card, which is kind of awesome. Like, kind of, I mean, extremely. So here's what I figured we would do. Remember, we're breaking down shapes. Pouty's kind of got the triangular shapes to him, right, and whatnot. So we're gonna we're gonna draw the coyote and break down his face a little bit as we take a look at a Chuck Jones character. And I'm gonna tell you this as we start. So I was sketching little little ones of these to try to figure this out this morning. And I'm going to show you my little sketch sheet here too to show you that not everything looks fantastic and just keep drawing. So here's my here's my sketch sheet from this morning, right? Trying to break down Wiley Coyote into triangles. This is terrible. Uh, that's okay. That's not bad. That one's not bad. That one's okay, right? But look at all the triangular shapes. So we're going to do this up here. So you have your piece of paper. Everybody got their paper? You all got your paper. So I'm going to reference... I don't have reference. Mine. Uh, it's just a just a blank sheet of paper. Do you have a blank sheet? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have a prompt sheet. So this is just a blank sheet. So this is what I'm referencing off of if you're <laughs> page 197 in Chuck Redux, and it's the Coyotes model sheet. So you've got your piece of paper, right? And it kind of starts, I want to go back here a little bit, kind of starts with an oval that's kind of at an angle, right? kind of at an angle and there's a line that kind of comes down where his eye is right here right so that's the start of a coyote and that's the only circle really more ovalish that we're kind of going to use for his main shape so if you take a look at coyote he's got this kind of triangle that comes out with his nose right it kind of goes out to here Let's hope I went far enough, right? So there's your first triangle. I'm gonna do one little thing in here with his eye, just so I know where it's at. And then, and then another triangle is his, he's got this eyebrow. It kind of comes off there. That's like a triangle right here and a triangle there, right? And these are just loose. This is just real loose. We're keeping it real loose. All right, and then his head kind of goes back like that. All right, now off this here are his ears. And his ears, if you notice, are kind of triangles also. So just real light, I'm just going to make a triangle to start. All right, that's it. I'll go in and fill in my details in a, in a minute. So his, he's going to smile, and his smile kind of kind of comes out here. Right, and he's got a nose out here. So I've got kind of my coyote's extended nose, right? And then if he, he's got all these folds that come in. And then I got one kind of long shape here. Right, it kind of kind of gets my coyote down, but look at the triangle. One big triangle here. This is kind of like a little mini triangle inside his eyebrow, right? Kind of a triangle. So all these angular shapes. And then what I'm going to do is off his eyeball. I'm going to do his. Maybe a little rough, but so you kind of see how that triangle turns into his into his jawline and then his ears. Super fast, but 
you get the idea, right? So, and I need more practice at drawing this coyote. But you can get an idea there of triangles, right, that make up shapes. And, and coyote's kind of got that villainous, you know, he's kind of the villain in this, so that there's those angular shapes that make up the coyote, which is kind of awesome. And that kind of helps to um, understand his personality a little bit if people just look at it without even knowing anything about the character. So if you kind of take a look at the coyote versus maybe the, the roadrunner, which has more ovals in his shape, it's kind of a little friendlier. You got this kind of sinister thing. All right, how do we do on our coyotes? Do me a favor. All I'm going to do is switch to my grid view so that I can see it. We're not going to post it up just a minute, I, just so I can see it. Everybody, on your quick sketch of your coyote, go ahead and hold it up. Hold it up. Tater Tot, that's awesome. Janet, Amelia, and Sophia. Ocean Garcia, Samantha, Rosalie, and Andrew. Sophie, nice. If I don't call your name, don't worry. Gemma, cool. Uh, Megan. Lauren, Jaden, Celeste, Isabella, and Olivia, Harley, still working. Lily, very nice. M-S-C-H something. The two of you guys, that looks awesome. Dominic, Carson, Jackson, three boys, iPad, Lucas, Dylan, Claire, three. <laughs> uh, and then I've got Evan, Isabella. Yeah, I'm going to give you guys a second to catch up. No problem. Evan, that looks cool. All right, so go ahead and you guys can keep working on that, like finish up a little bit on what you're doing with the coyote. Hey, Ben. Look, yes. You wanna choose to spotlight my uh, my background here? I absolutely will. There you go. Those were the first- Nice. Those were the very first sketches that Chuck did in the late 1940s of Roadrunner and Coyote. They kind of evolved over time, didn't they? Looks a little different. Yeah, but uh, that's what he envisioned when he remembered the Mark Twain versions. So remember, what when Chuck would draw right and use his imagination, he, was, he got really good at drawing from real life. And when I was in high school, I did not want to draw anything real life because I thought it was boring. I wanted to draw cartoons and cartoons and more cartoons until I met an animator one day from Disney and they were on the Pocahontas tour. And I, and he, I said, I, I want to do what you want to do. I, I love animation. I want to be an animator. And he said, well, how's your, how's your portfolio? I'm like, oh, I draw cartoons all the time. And he said, you might want to start drawing real life people and animals because the better you can understand that, the better you will do in animating real life. And funny enough, even though my parents told me I should do that, I was like, whatever, until an animator told me. And then I was like, okay. So Chuck <laughs> had that same thing happen to him. So Craig, what would, what would Chuck tell people if they came into the studio and they wanted to work for Warner Brothers and work on a Bugs Bunny cartoon and they would show him a portfolio full of Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck drawings. You know, he, uh, the, the thing is, no matter what, Ed said, how do I become an, an animator? And uh, he said, just draw, draw everything, draw what you see in light, draw your parents. He goes, uh, if, if you're alone and you say, oh, I've got nothing to draw. He said, well, you got a hand, right? Draw your hand. He goes, you got a foot? Draw your foot, just keep drawing. He said, when you get here, we'll teach you how to draw the characters. We'll teach you how to animate. But in the meantime, you need to draw, draw, and draw. He started drawing when he was three and he drew every single day of his life if he was physically capable and uh, 20 to 30 drawings, no matter what. And he would always be drawing. So that's exactly what he would tell everybody who asked, well, how do I get in to be this person? Draw, draw everything. And so uh, when you start opening up that channel for yourself, you know, draw. You're learning the basics from Ben uh, these few days. And uh, when you go out in the world, try to, try to utilize them, try to practice them. It's all about those practice, the hundreds of thousands of bad drawings and drawings, just getting them done, getting them through you the practice makes perfect, so. Good advice. 
So, and that doesn't mean you can't draw cartoon characters. That means that you should just keep drawing everything that you see also. So, all right, we're, we're gonna come back to here and everybody's pretty good. We've got our kind of coyote down. We've, we've done our sketches right here. Again, here's, here's my from this morning, right? You see that not all great, but you just gotta keep going and work on it because it's practice, practice, practice. So here's what I wanna do. We're gonna take the, the, this is our big project thing, right? And we are gonna do character groupings. We're gonna save that for the group of characters for next week. Today, we're gonna to concentrate on one character. So here's what, I want, here's what I want you to do. I want you to think of, and it's, it's from your own imagination, right? So it's just, it, this is your most important tool right here. This and the drawing is just how you express that. This is your most important tool. So in your imaginations, which I know all of you have, I want you to think of a character, any character. It could be the good guy, it could be the bad guy, it could be the sidekick, it could be the dog, whatever, right? I want you to think of a character. And as you think of the personality of this character, right, I want you to think of what that character would look like. And I want you to start using shapes. Yes, it's your own character. It's something you come up with. So this is your own character from your own imagination. I know exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you one of my characters, right, as I draw him, him out. What's that? All right, so we're good. So, all right, we're gonna use shapes. I'm gonna use circles blended with some squares. That's how I'm gonna start mine off. You can choose your own thing, and we're gonna start this in. So I want you to go ahead, take your piece of paper, all right, and then we're. this is what we're gonna show here for our, our grand finale. So I want you to think of your character. Think of, like, I have a character that I am going to do, and my character happens to be a monkey. I like monkeys, right? My character's uh, kind of confident, kind of a leader on that, right? So I use some squares to help with that, but he's also uh, friendly, right? Somebody that you would like to get to know a little bit. Um, and so I'm gonna blend those shapes. So using your imagination, what are you going to draw? And I'm gonna switch to grid view so I can see some stuff. You go right ahead, think of your character. Think of your character. I'm gonna do my character. So Craig, did, did Chuck ever have a character that he did like that he kind of credits as like the first one that he came up with? The first Looney Tunes character? Well, you know, he uh he he his first cartoon was a um uh was it actually a cat uh, in in the uh, Night Watchman? And there was a he, he was uh, so that was 1937. He uh, was the child of a uh, security cat, you know, to keep the mice away at night. And so he now had to go in and do that. So he had that cat, um, as he said, it was very Disney esque, and and uh, people gave him you know, a little bit of grief occasionally of, of having his first characters look so much and act so much like Disney characters. But he said, well, who else are you gonna learn from? You know, learn from people who are doing it and then you evolve your own. So he, uh, he created that cat, but then the one, the first character that he really started um, uh, on his own and did a number of cartoons was called Sniffles. And uh, Sniffles was a mouse and so Sniffles would go uh, and different adventures. So Sniffles the mouse was uh, was a great character that through the 30s and I think the latest one was maybe 1940. But uh, but then he started creating many different characters. He and uh, he'd come up with ideas, and so he's credited with. Although he was one of the fathers of Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and Porky Pig and Elmer Fudd and and uh, many of the characters that all the directors shared. Uh, he is credited with creating Roadrunner and Coyote, Pepe Le Pew, Marvin Martian, Michigan J. Frog, Hubie and Birdie, uh, goes Ralph and Sam, so Gossamer, uh, goes on and on the, the characters that he really is credited with creating and directing throughout. But Sniffles was really his first character that he played with uh, on his own so that uh, he learned how to direct. So, uh, 
Um, but he did very early, even before he started directing, he started doing uh, a lot of Porky Pig. He actually directed a number of early Porky Pig cartoons um, you know, when he was working with Tex Avery and uh, before he started getting credit on his own. So, so there's my story. You're, you're, you're going away. That's, you're really, what are you, what are you making there? That's pretty awesome. So this is my monkey. I have three monkeys in an aardvark. <laughs> and which, which is how I came up with my agency name. And this monkey, they're all variations of my personality. So this monkey, his name is the Admiral, right? And he, he's a big picture guy, right? He can see the big picture on stuff. He, he knows where things should go, how they should work, right? He sees the big picture. He's not super great at building that idea out or planning for that, um, but he's really good at thinking about those things. So he relies on his other buddies who one is a very good planner at things and can knows how to organize stuff out the other one is a really good builder of things and then you've got the aardvark which is kind of like a big puppy dog that helps carry stuff all over the place so between the three monkeys and the aardvark they go on fantastic adventures all over the place and one of my this one has a righteous beard as my beard isn't quite righteous yet but it, it is a beard <laughs> well at least you can grow a beard buddy <laughs> that's true <laughs> all right so and my basic shapes are it, he's kind of got a uh, more round like circles and, and rounded shapes right i've got squares and what i'm pulling off here and with like hands and feet um even in his nose and how that works so i wanted a, like a dependable character that was also someone that you could get along with so he wasn't just dependable and you know uh stocky and you know a little stiff he also had like an energetic personality so that is my that is my monkey All right, so as you guys are drawing and exercising the imagination, if you get a chance to pop in a favorite, an all-time favorite character, you just, just the name, doesn't even have to be an explanation on it, just your all-time favorite character, uh, cartoon, comic book, Let's pull up chat here so that I can see. Stitch, I love Stitch. Dumbo, mm -hmm. as you guys are sketching stuff out. Coyote and Roadrunner, points for you. Squid, Garfield, Venom, Timmy, Princess Leia, nice. Infinity Train, 1-1, one, one, Pogo, Stitch, Mickey Mouse, Sparky. Nice. Black Panther, Blue Beetle. I've never heard Blue Beetle in a while. Anything Stitch, including his cousins. So Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Pink Panther, Princess Leia, Emily from Goku. So I would tell you that I had an artist whose name is R.C., A-R-C-Y, and he did a 12 foot by eight foot Stitch mural, and it's here in my studio as we're gonna donate that to a local community center. And let me see if I can find that picture for all of you stitch lovers hey uh ben take a look at yes the, my spotlight there's a character you a chuck jones character you've never seen no i've never seen that that Who is that? that so he's named it the real mccoy also known as the draper and uh this is from uh a, a, a film that was never made but chuck developed a lot of the characters for it so uh, he always, he, if you look, I mean, there's a sinister guy and, uh, I'll show you a couple others as you were going through. 
that uh, he's done. Here's uh, Vertigo and uh, Crouch. So they've got uh, they've got different personalities. Um, you can see the different shapes that are being used. Let's see what else uh, I've got in here. Do this. There you go. So there's uh, Germ. Yes. So that's nice. A, talk about a Chuck Jones hand. That's a Chuck Jones hand. So. That's a Chuck Jones hand. <laughs> One of my favorite things to 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 see, and I and I, Craig has been very generous in letting me get to see Chuck's doodles. Do you guys like to doodle? I love to doodle. Just nonsensical shapes and whatever. I love doodling. So that's a that's Chuck's not doodles. Class, by the way. Yep. Doodling. We'll yes. Do we'll showcase it. We're gonna make Chuck uh, Chuck uh, stuff for that. So uh, doodles for that. So I'm gonna show you one thing here. So remember, I said that stitch mural. So my my oldest son is in this, and he's like six foot one. And this is what this guy painted in eight hours. Are you ready for this? He painted this 12 foot by eight foot stitch in eight hours. Can you see that? That's nuts. Look how big. Isn't that crazy? You're, oh. Isn't that huge that for is, all you stitch lovers? Oh. That is gigantic. So we do all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. So the Chuck Doodles. Yeah, I've got, I can't wait to get into that class because yeah. hopefully Craig is going to bust out some, some goodies oh, in addition yeah. to my favorites. Yeah, you'll have to see my background. I'll, I'll be, I'll be uh, looping through a, a video montage during the, uh, during the class when we, when we doodle. You can see how his brain works a little bit. So that'll be dangerous. So yep. Yep. Anyway, go ahead. No, that's, I, I, there's, there's a, there's some I have his favorite doodles. Well, I don't I don't have them, but I know what my favorite doodles of Chucks are. Yeah. Well, we'll see. And I've gotten to see those in person. <laughs> All right, how's how's our uh, how's our main characters coming? Like our main characters with their own personalities. Good. All right. So here's what we're going to do cuz this takes a little bit longer than usually just kind of showing something. Is what we want to do is we're going to again same kind of rules apply as yesterday where um, we're going to call on you guys that are done and uh, you're going to get to show your thing. And then because we wanted to put our imagination behind it, I just want you to tell us a little bit about your character. Kind of like I just explained Admiral, right? I gave you a little bit of background on my monkey dude, your Admiral. I want you to do the same thing. And so that's why it's going to take a little bit longer. So I wanted to start a little bit earlier on that. And it's okay if it's a work in progress too. That's totally fine. But when you're ready, um, raise your digital hand, and Craig, that way Craig can see everybody. Yeah. And, and when you're ready, so we'll raise your digital Lily hand. And Lily, and, and good. When you're ready, go ahead and do that. So Ben, why don't you go ahead and and pick the one you want to spotlight, and then uh, and then you can un, and you can unmute yourself or you can unmute them, and then I'll I'll take the other side to, to we'll move on. So. Okay, so I'm going to start with the ones that are popping up right now on my screen, and I'm going to start with Dominic. Dominic, I'm going to spotlight you in three, two, one. I You're up, buddy. I drew Bugs Bunny. I drew Bugs Bunny. Nice. Can you hold it up a little bit higher for me? Can you hold it up a little bit more for me? Hold it up above the, above the camera. A little bit more. A little bit more. Nice. There it is. Good job, man. You did awesome. All right. Thank you. Very good, Dominic. I love it, man. You did a great job, buddy. Thank you. And you can, you guys can stay on too. Like if you want to pop off, you can, but if you want to stay on again, I'll encourage you just like yesterday. I love the fact that you guys make positive comments about everybody else's artwork. I think that is totally cool. And if you want to make positive comments and jump in on the messenger, please do just keep it positive um, as we encourage everybody while we're drawing. All right. So I'm going to go to Lily next. Before, Lily. Before people start leaving, uh, do me a favor. Yes. Let's, uh, let's have everybody type in uh, where they're from today. So what city and state you're in or, or country so that we've got that before everybody leaves. Yesterday was pretty amazing. 
And uh, so go ahead, Irvine, California, that's where I'm at. Rancho Cordova, Wayne, Indiana's in the house, San Diego, Morgan Hill, uh, Ottawa, Canada's back, Toronto, more Irvine. This is awesome. Liberty Hills, San Jose. Chile. Antarctica? Get out. <laughs> I love that. Aliso Viejo, rest in Virginia, California. Yes. San Jose, right. back. Seneca, South Carolina. South Carolina. All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lake Forest. I'm like Lake Forest. That. You're in my neighborhood. All right. Texas. All right, I've got, who do I have up? Do All I right, keep going, keep them coming and while we're uh, showcasing, go ahead, Ben. Yep, all right, Lily, I've got you on the big screen, dear. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about your character and show us what you've got. Okay. This is oh my gosh. Turtle. Wow. Tell a turtle. That's, spectacular. that's awesome. Oh, oh. That yes, is so huge. <laughs> she likes drawing in cookies. Yes. But she doesn't like small cookies. Not no. Who does like small cookies? Big I, cookies are the best. I mean, I'm sorry. There's a cookie monster in the house. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my! Lily, God. you did a fantastic job, dear. Wonderful. I'm gonna go to Janet next, and as I go to Janet, I'll tell you guys we got a, we got five days of programs next week. You can take a look at that same link on chuckjonescenter.org, the virtual programs. It'll be April week two this time, and then it'll, it'll have everything that we're going to do next week. Um, we'll have that posted on Sunday. And we'll have we'll All right. whether it's going to be the same time or different times. We'll uh, you yep. check in there. So hopefully we'll have maybe – check into that page. Okay, so I did, um, I did like a hip-hop lion. <laughs> <laughs> Love That's it. awesome. That's awesome. So does he have like a favorite jam or does he do like, what does he do? I, uh, I think I muted her, buddy. Sorry. Oh, you did? Unmute yourself again. Um, no, he just always carries a, um, a, a music player mm -hmm. on his back. Nice. And he's so, so distracted us, by his music and himself that he never gets any food. That's why he's so, like, ribby. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Like so back in the day, we would call that a... He's lion. He is, well, there you go. We would call that a boom box back in the day, <laughs> for all you old school people. All right, Rosalie and I'm popping you. Rosalie and Andrew, how you doing, guys? Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Let's see what you guys have. Nice. So tell me about your character. Do you want to go first? You go first. Sure. Mine is like sugar, sugar. a mix with a tiger and a rabbit, kind of. The <laughs> All ears. right. And then it has like a mane, sort of. Love it. That is cool. And I then love the, our, I love the circular shapes. Go for it. Mine is kind of like an aardvark. His name's Arlo, and he's supposed to be. I kind of got um, inspired off of um, the coyote, and so he's kind of like a sly guy and sneaky. So awesome. I think that is totally – I love aardvarks, so you get points for that. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for that. All right, we're going to Tater Tot next. Tater Tot in three, two, one. You're up. Whoa. All right, go ahead and unmute yourself. Tell us a little bit about – He's, he's live. You got it? He's live. All right, you're live, buddy. I can't hear him, but that looks so cool. Well, it says unmuted, but... Uh, yeah, it does. That is such a cool character, bud. That's that is cool, cool. man. Nice. I love it. You did awesome. You did awesome. All right. <laughs> Timothy Eterno, you are up in three, two, one. You are live, buddy. Hi, so uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be hard to see or not, but I drew a little character. His name is uh, Dwight the Kid Magician. And the ironic <laughs> part about him is that he's not very good at what he tries to set out to do. He wants to be the world's greatest magician. And he has a little sidekick here. He's like a rabbit, as of yet unnamed. And uh, you, um, magicians are supposed to kind of like control the rabbits, but the rabbit is kind of running the whole operation. He's kind of like the stool pigeon in the whole thing. 
He's not very good at nice. That's so, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> like the kid magician. There you go. Nice. That is awesome. You did great. You know, that reminds me of an animated short that I love that uh, Doug Sweetland, I think, did for Pixar. And uh, I'll have to find it for next week. But it is hilarious. And it is, Timothy, is right down your alley, buddy. <laughs> All right. Jade and Celeste, you are up in three, two, one. Whoa. Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> Tell me about your characters. So um he wants to be a superhero. His name is Ter um Territory. And he doesn't okay. really know much of superheroes. <laughs> That's awesome. What about yours, Sally? Um this it's a fairy and um she wants to be the best fairy in the whole world, but the the squirrel took her wand. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? The squirrel took her wand. Those squirrels can be mischievous. That is awesome. Jade and Celeste, thank you so much. So good. That is awesome. All right, I'm going to go to Sophie next. Sophie, you are live in three, two, one. First of all, I'm jealous of your hair because I don't have any hair anymore. But when I did have hair, it did turn teal and purple once. Anyway, go ahead. And this is mine. Sweet. Great hair and So tell tell us about your character. Her name is Sam and she is just a character I like drawing all the time. I've never given her her body before, but that's all I know about her. That's cool. Great. That's, that's cool. cool. I love your own, like, I had the same thing. I've had characters that I've just drawn because I've made up my own stuff, as you can see with the monkey. So I think that's awesome that you did that. And you put a body on her day, which is cool. Very nice. Awesome. Sophie, well done. Well done. All right, I'm going to go to Ocean Garcia next in three, two, one. All right, you're up. Gotcha. Oh. There you go. You're there. Um, so basically... Um, for some reason, I draw him sometimes. Uh, that's why I coded earlier whenever you said the favorite animation. I called him Gondom Squid. I based it on, like, Gondom style, but made it a squid. <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> he can ride, like, four horses at the same time and do the move. That's what that dude can do. That is awesome. I love it, man. You did you did awesome. That's totally cool. All right, Amelia, we're going to you in three, two, one. You are up. Um, can you listen to me? Yeah. Yep, I can hear you. Yeah, here. Um, this is mine. Holy Sweet. Man. Look, it's you. And no, so it's tell us about not Ruth me. Ruby. Not me. Yeah. That's so oh. great. That's powerful. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is, man. You did awesome. I Thank love you. it. So is this a character that you've come up with, like your own thing that you've drawn before, or was it just today? No, I, I've drawn her before. You so. did awesome, man. I love it. Well done. Yeah. Well, thank it. you very much for sharing that. I am totally digging it. All right, we're going to go to Megan in three, two, one. Megan, you are live. I drew her. She's, um, so she's like a normal person, but then she turns into a superhero. So, yeah. <laughs> That's cool, and her name's Rosie? Uh-huh. Love That's it. That's awesome. And the glasses. Way to go, man. I love it. I love it. All right, we're going to go to Riley and Wesley next in three, two, one. Riley and Wesley. You go first. Hi. So, um. Hi. What we did... Um, so I'll go first. I did a evil tree. <laughs> <laughs> Look I at love all it. Fights, man. Those are a lot of tricks. I know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and then that is my cool. I draw. I drew a super puppy. How can you not love a super puppy? Look at the cape and the and the mask. That's so. Oh, awesome. The mask and everything. You can get rid of every single bad guy in the world just by looking at them. Because <laughs> your power Wouldn't is that be awesome? <laughs> that is awesome. I love it. So I don't know how many of you have dogs. I have three dogs, and their name are Cap for Captain America, Vision, 
and Thor. So I have the K9 Avengers. So I totally dig your super puppy. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Evan and Bella in three, two, one. You guys are up. Here, let's up. Uh, uh, you're unmuted. Go for it. This is like, um, I will think I want to be a superhero with a sidekick, Bella. And this is just for a shy girl. And then he's a robot. Wow. Boy, that that's... is cool. Characters development. Yeah. Right? And he's a robot again. Oh. Very it's cool. That is Man, you guys so did some, you guys are doing some wicked stuff, dude. That's awesome. I love it. Well, thank you for sharing. We're going to go to Isabella and Olivia in three, two, one. And hold on, let's unmute you real quick. Got it. So we can hear you. Yep, there you go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. This is so cool. Love that. I love that. And the body. Go. 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 All right, hold it, hold it back just a little bit. Pull it back just a little bit. There you go. Wow. That's cool. Isn't that someone you just want to love? Yeah. yeah. Right? Super kid. Man. I love all the circles and the shapes that you put in. Like, it's a very friendly character. No doubt. Big eyes. Very cool. That's so well, thank cool. you for sharing. That's awesome. All right, next we're going to go to Harley. Harley in three, two, one. Let's see what you've got, Harley. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, uh, this is my character drawn from a square. Nice. nice. You did great. Man, you got Thanks. I love the expressions and you got his mouth and these this And you wait and, hold it up a little bit more. I want to see your description. Wesley Otto Grouch. Wato AKA Wato Grouch. Wato Grouch. Wato Grouch. <laughs> 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 That's so good. I love it. Uh, He's often bored and tends to get sleepy. Yes, I can totally get that. Harley, that is brilliant. Harley, I love it. You. Thank hey. you, man. Thanks. Thanks. Man. Uh, that's so I love that. Well right. done. All right, we're going to go to Carson. Carson in three, two, one. I'm glad your computer's fixed. Yeah. You're on. All right, buddy, you're live. So this is Short Terry. He thinks he's like the most <laughs> evil man like ever. But as you can see, this is like a normal height guy, and he's like really tiny. So he can't really do much because he can't really reach anything. Like he's trying to build things and he can't reach the parts. So he just kind of gives up and he's like twirling his mustache. <laughs> right. That's awesome. Short Terry. I like Hilarious. Coming in to look at him too. He's got the his view. Right. Eye. That's so cool. <laughs> if he was ever in a yeah, is there at a concert? You could just look right over his head. That's awesome, Carson. Yeah. Thank you, man. You guys did so well. Thank you for sharing. That was perfect. That Do was we have anybody else that I haven't called on yet? Emily and Sophia. Raise your digital hand. Raise your digital hand because some I don't see a video for, so I don't know if, if it's we, there. Uh, Can you raise your? We missed you or? All right. So oh, we got to. All right, go. good. I, yeah, put up your digital hand. All right, I'm gonna go to Claire first. All right, in three, two, one. Claire, you're up. Make sure you put your digital hand up for me. There you go. Sweet. Tell me about yours. Uh, I drew this person. I don't know why. It's just, I drew it. She's great. Awesome. Look at the tail. That's cool. Kind. Eyes and right? the flashes. The pose. I love the fact that you wrote out your description, too, of, like, some character traits. That's cool. Good. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that was, that's awesome. All right. All right. Emily and Sophia, did I call on you yet? No? All right. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that one real quick. Let me go to Emily and Sophia in three, two, one. All right, guys. You are live. So I'm Sophia, and I drew a gumball machine named Mr. Balls. I've always wanted to be drawing like bubblegum machines so i decided to make him into a character that's awesome that's cool that is so, that so around he, probably nice so here's a here's a fun fact here's a fun fact emily uh is so is it sophia right yeah or emily okay sophia, sophia so sophia do you know who john lasseter is no 
do you know Pixar animation and Toy Story? Yeah. So John Lasseter, who is inspired by Chuck Jones, and that is a correct statement, yes, Mr. Craig. Oh, he used to spend uh, time with, hours with him over in the studio was when he was at CalArts. Uh, John so, and the first year guys in 1974 would go over and sit with Chuck because Chuck wanted to make better animators, so yep. So how cool is that? So you get to sit with Chuck Jones and draw. So, so uh, Sophia, uh, John Lasseter would take inanimate objects like a vacuum or he would he was like he started working on the brave little toaster and stuff like that and then they had like tin toy and all these other sort of things he would take inanimate objects and turn them into characters exactly like what you're doing with a gumball machine and i think that's awesome so yeah. look at that all right that's let's fine. go I'm with the, emily emily can emily, you get going okay first of all thank you for doing these art classes because you tend to like every like you tend to did you come every day? Yeah. Yeah, I think they've been in every day. Aw, we love having you here. So tell yeah, us. About thank your you. And my character is Mr. Nature. He's a robot, and he <laughs> like nature. He has these antenna things. Like and he can listen to the radio, and he can communicate with animals. Ah. Oh. That's, see, I would love to communicate with animals. That would be, I would love to know what my dogs are saying. That would be awesome. Very cool. Uh, Emily and Sophia, we have, we have enjoyed having you guys with. We look forward to next week. We hope you certainly can join us for that. We would love that. Um, Lauren Chu in three, two, one. Gemma, all right, I'm going to go to you, Gemma, also. After I go to Lauren, I'm going to call on Gemma. All right, go ahead. Well, I'm too in. Um, I'm too not creative to create my own character, so I just do Dumbo. You did an awesome Dumbo. Oh my god! You did an awesome Dumbo, no. right? Wow. And don't sell Good yourself for you. Don't come up with your character. It'll come out of you someday, and you'll just draw it, and it'll be awesome. Yep. And the more you fill your mind, like the more you read, the more you absorb that kind of stuff. Watch how it just happens. I think you did an awesome Dumbo. Yeah. That is super cool. That is super cool. All right, I'm gonna go to Gemma because she's. Uh, hold on one second. Let me find it. And then we also have yeah. Jasper and Cleo eventually. All right. I'm gonna go to Gemma in three, two, one. Whoa. Hi, Gemma. Gemma. Hi. Hi. How are you? I made Princess Leia, and she is playing the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> big shocker you know it's a shocker totally and i don't know if it has anything to do with kylo ren and i would think i may think if i know correctly your mom might have a fascination with that yeah. with both kylo ren and princess leia but i'm not sure that is so it would just be a guess oh my i love it man you did an awesome princess leia going very to the dark nice side thing, very cool you're welcome a painting in the back looks familiar yeah, hey, all right. Beautiful one. <laughs> How about Jasper? We're gonna go to Jasper and Cleo in three, two, one. All right, Jasper and Cleo, you're up. Well, this is my. He's like happy man, and he's really happy. He always wants. He always wants to bring joy to other people. It's yeah, really hard. That, to that is cool. That's happy man. I'm always. That happy. is a happy man. Yeah, I love it. I love your use of circles and circular shapes. That's awesome. He thinks he needs to bring joy to other people. That's so well, I I totally agree. Yeah. That is awesome. All right. Well, well done, man. I think All right, we're going to go to, uh, who do I, if, if I haven't called on you, uh, put a message in. If you have video up, because I see some people that don't have video yet. Um, and then, it, so. I've got a grid space here. We're going to go to, it uh, looks like Milo and Phoenix and phoenix let me go ahead and spotlight this uh hang on and we're spotlight there you are guys all right and this is batman oh my favorite you did an <laughs> awesome batman okay. i love it a whole bunch of muscles <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> I'm a Batman as well because he copied me. 
Uh, that's you know what that's right i think too bad you can't have enough batmans this yeah. I'm <laughs> all right that is awesome you guys did an amazing job man thank you very much that is super cool uh all well, right do we have anybody them. else that you can see Jack craig jackson fam hold on fan hold on just a second i'm going to showcase you in, in three two one there you are hey buddy, buddy. I think you're. Here, do me a favor, pull it back a little bit from the camera. Just a little, give it a little bit more. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see those. So tell us about your character, buddy. I think he's unmuted. He on? Not. I can't uh, figure out how to unmute him right this second. Uh, Jackson, let me see if I can find you. J A, hold on. We're doing. Hold on. I just unmuted this. All right, Jackson, go ahead, buddy. Is it working? I think he's he's overridden our unmute. So oh, okay, all right, that's cool. Hey, uh, man, you did an awesome here. character. I love that. That's awesome. Nice job, Jackson. Okay. All right, do we have anybody else? Okay, it looks like we're getting pretty good here. I think we're good. That's awesome. All right, so I'll just say as we bring it back here and close out today for Friday, um, I loved seeing all of your stuff. I think it's totally awesome. I love the fact that you're using your brains and that you're exercising that and getting out some awesome creativity and using these fundamentals. So um, I want to encourage you to keep drawing, keep drawing. Um, I've had mentors that have helped me and they say keep drawing and it always makes a difference. And the more you do, the better you get. So next week, we'll post our, our next set of programs on Sunday on the website, chuckjonescenter.org, virtual programs, April week two. And we'll show you what we're doing for there. It'll have any PDFs that you need to download and supplies that you'll need. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get a built. What's that? Oh, he was just. We're gonna get into. He finally uh, got. Just uh, think, yeah. I'm done. We're good. All right, so you did an we're, awesome we're, job, buddy. It was awesome. So we're looking forward to seeing you guys next week. All right, on Monday we'll give you the time and stuff on the website. Samantha, that looks awesome. I can see you in the corner there. Um, you guys have a wonderful weekend, right? Catch up on a Looney Tunes cartoon. It's Saturday morning cartoon tomorrow. You got to watch a Looney Tunes cartoon, all right? You guys have a wonderful weekend, and we will catch you later. Okay. Later, dudes. Bye.